without further ado, let's get started. So let's talk a little bit about how today is going to go. Um, so for the actual structure of the day, for the learning structure of the day, we are breaking the project up into these learning cycles. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna move on to our getting started learning cycle here. So again, remember, uh, you're not gonna be following along. Uh, instead, you're just gonna be watching, and then uh, you, you, uh, you'll have your opportunity. So let's switch on over here. So obviously, I'm still in the editor here, uh, where I was when, uh, just a moment ago when I showed you that. This is the project you all have. And uh, one of the key things here, as we get started, so the first thing I've done is I've opened up this project. And something very important is that I opened this as a project that didn't import these assets. I didn't import all the assets into a new project. We have some project settings that we want that I'm going to talk about here real quick. So the first thing that I'm doing here is I have Unity open. I've opened up this project. And if I look up at my, my layers drop down here, I'm going to notice that I have some new layers and sorting layers. That's how I know I did this right. If I don't have these, then I have a problem, because these are used for just setting up some of the sorting of our graphics and stuff like that. All right. I'm also in the default layer. This is our, our default layout. This is the layout we usually use. Uh, however, today we're going to use a slightly different layout. It's entirely up to you to use whatever layout you want. But for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the default uh, layout dropdown, and I'm going to go to Tall. And this is all in our notes, so don't worry about it. And I'm just going to make sure that I bring my game view down here. And that is going to be the layout I'm going to use today. And there we go. So just kind of, so that's just going to make it easier because we're going to do some uh, designing on top and seeing on bottom and all that stuff. And so we want to have that set up. And so now I'm going to create a new scene. I don't want to obviously modify this scene. So I'm going to go to File and then New Scene. So I have a nice blank, clean slate. And just as an FYI, I have some assets in here to help us throughout the day if we need. Thank you. Fantastic. Really <laughs> Good job I'm, on the assets. I'm glad I, I was able to provide this. Um, so if we look down at the bottom of the project view under assets, I've got some reference sheets. For those of you who might be uh, more newer to Unity, that's just got some terminology, some hotkeys, and stuff like that. And if at any point you get lost during the day, like maybe we just finished uh, cycle five, and you're like, I, I didn't get that, or I missed something, if you go to the scenes folder, there's this complete folder underneath, and we have folders for every single one of our cycles, and at any point, you can just hop to whatever scene we happen to be on, right? So if you get lost, don't worry, uh, we've got you covered there. Okay, so I have my new scene open, and I am gonna go ahead, first and foremost, I'm gonna create a tile map. A tile map is gonna be a grid that I can place these, uh, these tiles on to help me design a level, and if you have ever attended any of the trainings I've ever done or the training days or workshops, you know I always start with the ground. Always start with the ground, which is where everything's going to happen. And so I'm gonna go ahead in my hierarchy view, which is gonna list all of my game objects, and I'm gonna click Create, and I'm gonna go to 2D Object, and I'm gonna select Tile Map. That's gonna create a grid to contain a bunch of tile maps, and then the tile map itself. And I'll just click on this, and I like to name this uh, something that'll make sense later. So this is my platforms, where my character's gonna stand. And with my platform selected, if I look in the inspector over here, the inspector is where I see all the properties and components, everything about whatever I have selected, I'm going to look up here and I see that I have this static checkbox. Static means that I'm not going to move something, and as such, it can be processed more efficiently for physics, for lighting, for that. So I'm just going to click static. I want that to be static. And for the layer, where it says default, I'm going to drop this down to platforms. We're going to need this later. This needs to be on the platforms layer, because the player needs to know this is the ground, and we'll set that up later. The last thing I need to do with this is I need to say, OK, what order are things going to be drawn in? How do I determine what is drawn on top of what? Because this is a 2D game, and, and drawing order is important. So I'm going to look down at this tile map renderer component right here. And where it says sorting layer, I'm going to set that from default to platforms. So that was platforms, 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 right? Fairly easy. The last thing I'm going to do for this step, just getting set up, is I'm going to open up a tile palette window, which I will eventually use here, or you will eventually use here specifically, to draw a level out. So I'm going to go up to Window, and then I'm going to go down to Tile Palette. It's going to open this tile palette window. And I can move this around by clicking on the bar, or I can click the tab itself and dock it. So I'm just going to dock it right down here next to my game window, right there. And so you can see, I actually have some tiles here. These are some shadow tiles. I have some background tiles. I also have this global reference sheet. We won't be using that. That's used only for all the pre-levels I have set up for all the jumping points. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new tile, or a new palette, I'm sorry. So I'm going to click where it says global reference, or shadows, or background, or whatever, and I'm going to select create new palette, and I bet you can't guess what I'm going to name this, platforms. All right, I love that name. So there we go. And so now I click create. It says, hey, where do you want to save this? Now, where I save this is irrelevant. We can save this wherever. I happen to have a folder called tile maps where I put all my tile map assets. And I have a palettes folder. So I'm just going to save it in there. But again, if I didn't, it wouldn't break anything. I just like to keep organized. So at this point, I have a new scene. I have a 2D tile map named platforms uh, that is static on the platforms layer and uh, on the platform sorting layer with a tile palette and a platforms tile created. And I'm going to wrap up just by saving my scene, just so I have it. I'm going to go to File, Save Scene. Again, just to keep things organized, I'll put it in my Scenes folder. And I can name this whatever I want, right? So um, I'm going to do Boomerang today. Boomerang feels fun today. So that my scene is called Boomerang, because what it's named really is irrelevant, as long as it means something to me. And Boomerang means something to me today. All right, so now it's your turn. It's a simple step. We're just getting started. Be sure to open the project as opposed to importing the project. When you first open the project, you'll know you did it right by looking at the layers dropdown. And you will see that you have some additional layers like post processing, player, platforms, and some sorting layers. If you see those, you're good to go. If you don't, raise your hand. We've got TAs all over the place. From there, you're going to go to File and then New Scene to create a new scene. In the hierarchy, you're going to go to Create. 2D, and then Tile Map, rename that Tile Map Platforms, check Static, put on the Platforms layer, give it the uh, Platform Sorting layer. You're going to open up the Tile Palette window by going to Window, Tile Palette, and you're going to create a new Tile Palette named Platforms. And you're going to finish by saving your scene. It's a lot of steps. We have them written down for you.